probably gonna give me a hard time because my shoes ain't tied. What up, guys? Time for day two. So, uh, yesterday, I don't know, I feel like we did a whole bunch of damn recording and talking and all kinds of shit. And I'm looking back at it yesterday, last night, in the tent on the GoPro, and it's kind of hard to tell on the GoPro, but I swear to God, it's like half of it, it didn't even pick it up. You know, I don't know. I guess it's just uh, it's just a major learning curve. It's like everything else I've been doing with these GoPros and making videos. It's just a learning curve. So anyway, we're going to try again today. Hell, who knows? It might not even be recording now. Oh my God! There's a rock there. And I just found it with the bottom of this Harley. The super, super tour glide probably just sprung a f***ing leak from bottoming out on that rock. I hope not. Yeah, yo, I don't know what's up with this camera, but it's starting to be a pain in my ass. You know, we're doing these recordings. We're riding along. Exciting shit's happening. I'm talking about it. We're going to Nellysford, you know, big change of plans yesterday. I went to see my uncle and my cousins. Talked about it, blah, 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 blah. And then I'm looking at it last night. Looking at it last night. And there's no audio. And I'm like, what the hell? Anyway. Yeah, last night we get, so we get down here. It's like a national forest like service road is what we're on right now pretty good little campsite down there we get down there we don't have any cell phone service so we ride like five miles back out i record all of it you know talking about oh we're on this mission find cell phone service blah 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 blah, blah. i feel like it's gonna be good video stuff because i didn't want to i didn't want jesse to have to be worried you know it's not really that big of a deal to me not to have cell phone service. Honestly, it's pretty liberating. But there's no sense in making people who love you worry, you know, if you can do something about that. You know what I mean? So we ride five miles back out this road to find some cell phone service so I can so I can let her know that I'm still kicking chicken. Never could get a hold of her. I don't know if it was a service or what. It said that I had a few texts go through to her, so hopefully they went through. But yeah, because yesterday was freaking awesome. Great day of riding. It was a good mixed bag. Like, the whole channel is avoid highways, whatever. You guys know that. We ended up going right through Roanoke, which I'm hoping is going to be there and be good footage. I, I don't know. Maybe. Go right through the middle of Roanoke. We ended up on a four-liner for a while whatever it was good stuff it was fun it was a good mix but and the whole reason we did that was because we added a destination i mean we're all about not having a destination mode like oh my god we're going right through nettlesford i gotta go see my uncle and my cousins so we added that destination man ryan is boogieing down this gravel road y'all <laughs> he is getting it come back here boy um we were gonna go around Roanoke and miss all of that shit. And uh, the GPS had us doing that via the parkway. And uh, the parkway was closed. So whatever, we went through Roanoke. Exciting times, you know. Now we're headed up, well, first of all, we're going to find gas. Cause we're back out in the damn boonies right now. And I got about 20 miles and this pig is gonna cough, cough, sputter, sputter, Dunskies. I got my little reserve bottle. I got my little reserve bottle because, guys, I come from carbureted motorcycles to this fuel injected bike. And, uh, you know, I was used to sputter, sputter, oh, reach down, flip the switch on the petcock, bingo. I got another 20 miles or whatever. Heck, man, I think the reserve on the shadow, I could be way wrong on this. I swear I think it's like a gallon of reserve. That's like 45, 50 miles, you know? I could be really wrong on that though, but maybe it's just half a gallon. It doesn't matter. 
this thing doesn't have that. So when this pig runs out of gas, she's done. And it's got a fuel gauge, as you can see, which is patty. <laughs> the fuel gauge sucks though. Like I don't use that fuel gauge at all. I use my trip meter. I reset the trip meter because the fuel gauge is garbage on this bike. It'll tell you when it's full. And uh, well, that's about it. It's just not trustworthy. It's just not. It's so hit or miss on that fuel gauge. Um, so yeah, we gotta find some fuel. And then uh, I need to find somewhere to poop. And then we're going to keep heading north. We covered a lot of ground yesterday. For avoiding highways, so not being on interstates, we actually covered a lot of ground. I mean, if we've been on the interstate, we could have done been in Pennsylvania, but that's, that's not our bag. We don't wanna be on interstates. I think riding on interstates sucks. It's not fun. It, it's just not. You miss you miss things, and it's very fatiguing to ride, you know, 70 plus miles an hour for hours on end. It's just, and that's just not fun to me. Uh, we want the twisties, we want the curves, we want the little back roads. That's just, that's our cup of tea. Um, and gravel roads. Yeah. Hey, what would an avoid highways adventure be without a gravel road? You know what I'm saying? Garbage. It would be nothing. You gotta throw a gravel road in there somewhere. We're gonna get up into Pennsylvania. Ryan's on the lead today. He's the point man. And he is freaking phenomenal at finding the little awesome back roads. So, I'm sure he's gonna get us some good rides in. That, I, I know he will, I've got faith in him. I think Ohio after that. We want to try to get to Ohio too. Hit up some back roads in Ohio. Some Amish country, you know. We want to get up in some Amish country. But really, it doesn't matter. I mean, like, we don't really have any destinations. We don't really, it's just directions. And right now the direction is north, and then probably midday west. That's all we got. Look at us on this four-liner. If we weren't so low on gas, we would never have hit this four-liner. We would have just, we probably would have kept going on that gravel road that we're on in the other direction. I just, I don't feel like walking today, y'all. All right. Whip it in here and get some sunblock. What, what? I got sunburned like you would not believe because I was an idiot and didn't wear any sunblock. We're gonna get some sunblock today. My stops are gone. <laughs> oh, what's that? Google Maps is screwing you over again? Imagine that. Yeah. Different trip, same story. I had it all planned out. Yeah. I don't know, you did a heck of a job picking this road, I can tell you that. Do you really like those roads or do you have to slow down so much for the corner? Roads like that? Yeah. I was having a blast. Yeah. I was just wondering because I know you don't have any much clear. Yeah, I mean, no, it's fine. Yeah, I was having a blast on that road, especially at the beginning when going uphill. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude, that's up there for you. I like going that's uphill more than I do. Yeah. All right, guys, we got to stop for a second because. uh my visor, one of the bolts that holds my visor on came off. And I told you that while we were going down the road, but I don't think you're ever gonna hear it because the mic is just so in and out. Sometimes it works. Most of the time, it does not. All right, y'all. It makes no sense why this mic ain't working. Probably ain't working right now. We're gonna try. The visor's effed up. I can't open and close it now, which means I can't wear sunglasses. We're just gonna carry on for now. 
And if we uh, if we see a parts store or something, probably stop and try to find a boat that fit in there. That way I can have some functionality out of it. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just that one bolt fell out. And there's no functionality to it. You know, I can't open and close it. And the only thing that really, only that's only a problem because I can't put on sunglasses, which isn't that big of a deal. I don't know if the mic's working now, and I don't know if it picked that up, but as soon as we went through that little town, there was a big siren, and uh, whew, I'll be honest with you, it kind of startled me. What's up? I mean, as far as I had mentally mapped out, but it's got to be like a hardware store here, but oh. Do you think they have any? Do you think they have any bolts or anything at uh, Dollar General? I've never looked at a Dollar General for that. <laughs> I know they're cool, they're crap, though. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say that they don't. You know what I'm thinking though? I'm thinking that it doesn't need a whole lot to hold it on, but it takes the shit out of it. I'm thinking maybe if I take most of this tape off and just put like one strip, put it down and just smooth it out. Yeah. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Huh? I said, I get what you're saying, yeah. But I don't know that it would need that much tape. Not as much as I put on there. I'm really hurting here without my sunglasses. I'm a little worried about all those clouds we saw that direction. Yeah, let's just not go that direction. Either way, it'll be all right. All right, so we reconfigured the duct tape on the visor. Decided that didn't think I needed nearly as much as I had on there. So now it's somewhat functional, and I've got my sunglasses on. I'm dying, y'all. I've got my sunglasses. We're gonna try to find us a shady spot for a break, some food. Oh shit, Ryan's uh, bag's undone. He gonna lose his shit, yo. Okay. Hey, you know what they say, you can't duck it. Duck it. I mean, really, I don't have to have the visor with the sunglasses. Yeah, I still get bugs, like, coming up under my glasses whenever I got this one on. Uh, sometimes I like to wear an open face helmet, though. I mean... I think it's probably up to you. The only time that I like to have a visor, like, when I feel it's crucial, is when it's raining. And uh, let's just hope that doesn't happen today. Anyway, I'm just gonna roll with the duct tape for now. So don't even worry about looking for a place? Nah, yeah. okay. Duct tape's working fine. Like seriously, it's holding it in place, it's not rattling. Whatever. I've got function, we figured out the duct tape situation to where I have functionality out of it. So I can do my sunglasses. 
who cares? And there's the rank. We've pulled over to throw on some gear, which is probably a pretty good call. Ryan called it good. We pulled over and he said, it's because it's gonna rain, we should put our gear on. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe about, what do you think? A minute, two, later, it's raining. Somehow we found ourselves in uh, West Virginia. We were kind of shooting for Pennsylvania. But uh, we're in West Virginia and we're really close to Maryland. So, whatever, we're still going north. Because our GPS doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Go away, Rain. What, what would a motorcycle trip be without a little bit of rain? I mean, you know. For, for the complete Avoid Highways adventure, we need some gravel and a little rain. You know? We're just going to embrace it. Kind of like the mic being a piece of shit. We're just going to embrace it. But right on to what? You tell me. <laughs> nice. There's no name. There's no number. Or. Paw Paw, West Virginia. Here we come. Eighteen? Like is in Highway eighteen? At least it's got a road to it. Might go to find it. What direction does it take us? Toward north east. Northeast? So towards Maryland. How you got good crab cakes in Maryland? We stopped, we ate some food, we put all this shit on, and then it stopped raining. That's what you need, Ryan. Big old diesel truck with the front end lifted and the rear end squatted and so you can barely see out of it. Man, what's worse? The guys driving those trucks or guys riding obnoxiously loud Harleys? Tough call, Ryan says. Jesus Christ, it was like he was aiming for us. <laughs> you know what they say, Ryan? Life's a bit, and then it rains on your motorcycle trip. Let's go to Ohio, and we're trying it with the mic. Don't know if it's gonna work or not. Ryan says we'll be in Pennsylvania. I don't know if you heard him. So we won't be. So when we stop for gas, we won't be in Ohio. No. Oh, I'm getting a little too ambitious then. Oh wait, I gotta fix my visor, I forgot. I'm so used to just flipping it down. All right, let me get my visor uh, duct tape in place here. Hey yo, and that's a testament right there to, uh, what's that brand you got? Gorilla. Gorilla, because we've been riding in the rain and everything else. No problem, folks. Let me get my tunes going around. Woohoo!
during that little break I was telling Ryan back there when we pulled off and put on rain gear well I feel like there should have been a stop sign there <laughs> uh, when we first took off man we went through a couple of curves and I thought I was gonna lose it I had like no traction um, I was sliding so much that I was turning the handlebars like the opposite way to try to keep myself from going down. It scared the shit out of me to be honest with you. So we looked at my tires because I was like, God, the only explanation I can come up with, because they're like brand new Michelins. Well, they're, they've got three, probably almost 3,000 miles on them now. But I just put them on this spring and they're Michelins and they're supposed to be great in the rain. And I mean, I got them because I wanted to tour and the potential for getting caught in the rain was high. So I wanted good tires for that and uh, they're supposed to have last longer, you know? I'm like, man, the only explanation is that they're on backwards. They're not on backwards. We checked back there. I mean, they're on right. And now that I think about it, I mean, I installed them with my boy Dustin. He helped me. His dad's got a tire changer. We used it. And Dustin's a trained automotive tech guy. I mean, he knows what the hell he's doing. And we made sure, like, hey, which side's the pulley on? All right, the arrow, you know? So they're on right. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it's just because it had just started raining, and thanks, brother. The uh, road was really slick because it had just started raining. I don't know, man. But Ryan didn't have any trouble. And he basically has the same tires on his bike. Baby deer. He's basically got the same Michelins on his bike. I think they're a little bit different, but they're Michelins and the tread pattern's about the same. I don't know. Whatever, we just gotta take it easy in the rain. Look, there's a turkey. I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not, but maybe. Inside availability. What do you pay him where? Looks like it's like twenty five dollars. Where you sitting? Here? Oh, that's PA residence, non PA. What's today? Huh? I have no idea what today is. Twenty eight. Dang, all these shots are taken? Yes. Or reserved? What we should do is we should find a site that's empty that we like and then we'll have to check this. Yeah, I To make sure it's not reserved. How do you pay them? Honor system, registration envelope. Let's go find a site and then we'll come back. And... Probably. Oh God, can't get my leg over. What is this? That's six. Six looks pretty flat. There you go. You do that one? Yeah, the rest of them look like they're like on heels. That one? Pretty flat. Yeah. Not too bad down here. A little rocky. Kind of muddy. <laughs> huh? Yeah. This this spot's not too bad right here. I don't know though. 
What about over there? I don't even know how to get to this one. I don't either, but it looks like a good one. Hell, this one's way better. I'm gonna put my tent right here. What side is this? Yeah! Yeah, disturb the peace! Maybe that's what I should have named the channel. <laughs> So you want five? I'd say five. Sounds good to me. Yeah, how do you think? Hey, it's a cheap one. No, no, well. Nine. Two bucks cheaper. So what is it, $30.50? That's a stupid price. Jeez, what is it? Thirty dollars? $30? Damn, Pennsylvania, ripping us off. Well, they're 16, so if you'll throw in 15, we'll be good to go. I think you'll mail us our 15. Uh, nope. Well, if you got a 20, then you can have this five. Do you like those math skills? Haha. <laughs> he wants my VIP number. Oh. Do they have something else to rip off? Dude, I have no idea. Is this it? Here, you take your helmet off. Look at that. Ain't getting no corona. Let me get some water. Can't get Alright, I'll race you back pushing this pig. <laughs> 